We have some major stories breaking in the cryptocurrency market today. I want to get you guys fully up to date on exactly what they are. What are people saying potentially about CZ to Binance plus a lot more plus the crypto prices at the end. So how are we tracking with the crypto prices? Where can they go in the future? So if you guys enjoy these updates, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get into the video. And the first story to watch out for is this one. So crypto market dramatically underestimates bullishness of spot Bitcoin ETFs. So guys, we do know potentially later this year, early next year, there could be huge Bitcoin ETFs coming in. And I do think there is actually a lot of people underestimating this right now. So again, as I've told you guys, there is the potential, and it says it right here, attract enormous inflows and significantly increase buying pressure for Bitcoin. And just off that, that could be extremely bullish for the Bitcoin price. So remember, if we're getting real, you know, BlackRock money coming in and uh, people have to put their money somewhere so they have jobs and uh, a lot of the time you know they invest in the stock market blue chip stocks but what we could have is we could potentially have an allocation of that funds that usually go just to stocks or whatever you know that could come to the crypto market it could come to bitcoin and that could be a constant buy-in of the bitcoin putting some price pressure to the north side and that is something to not underestimate in the crypto market so if we do see a cataclysmic pump later on this year if we do get a very bullish scenario guys i'm not going to be too surprised about that because that could be something to definitely watch out for in the long term right there so watch out for that and people are saying 75 percent approval and even if it does get disputed i think there's a good chance you know BlackRock could challenge it in court and uh, beat the SEC. So we know the, the SEC has been losing a lot of cases recently and uh, I'm bullish on this and I think it has big potential to move the crypto market in the right direction. And also onto some other big news. So we do know Coinbase, it launched a layer two network of base and it's actually suffered its first major outage since launch. So block production on base abruptly halted for 43 minutes as developers rushed to implement a Fix. So for approximately 45 minutes on September the 5th, no new blocks were produced on the base chain. Its developers first identified the stalled block production at 9.36 p.m. UTC time. But since then, you know, it has resumed. And this is one of the things in crypto. It's just to be expected. So, you know, you guys know we saw the launch of Shibarium. There's going to be other crypto projects. They're going to be launching chains. And, uh, you know, nothing ever runs perfectly in crypto. There's going to be chinks in the armor. But as long as, you know, the developers can you know, rebound, fix it, which looks like they've done right here. You know, I don't think the crypto project is over at all. So watch out for Fudders as well. Anytime there's a hiccup in a project, Fudders will come out of the woodwork saying, you know, it's over for this crypto project, etc. But I reckon, you know, base two, it's going to be interesting to see that. And it's going to be good for future long-term growth in the crypto market. More competition between chains as well. On to some very important crypto news, guys. So you guys watch out for this. MetaMask scammers take over government websites to target crypto investors. So government websites from India, Nigeria, Egypt, Colombia, Brazil, Vietnam, and other jurisdictions have been found redirecting to fake MetaMask websites. So guys, you probably would be aware of this, but uh, you just have to be super careful in crypto. Be very careful what you're connecting your MetaMask account to. And uh, it looks like governments literally are getting hacked right now. So India, big governments in South America. And uh, just be careful, be vigilant, and uh, watch out for warnings in MetaMask because you don't want all your crypto out of MetaMask to get stolen off you right there. And let's talk about what people are saying about CZ of Binance right here. So you can see this tweet. There's a couple of them actually right here. And it's got this picture of Jim Cramer. And it says, Jim Cramer on Binance. They prove collateral, not reserves, but CZ looks like a good guy. I'm bullish here. Loading up on their tokens, way oversold. And uh, that's actually a bearish sign in the crypto space. If you guys know Jim Cramer, he's the ultimate reverse indicator. You have to do the opposite of what he says, but this is like a psychological warfare trick right here. So apparently someone has photoshopped this and he actually never said that. So they took what he what he said out of context. And I think they've added in, they photoshopped some stuff down the bottom here. And I don't think he actually says that. And uh, CZ has actually reacted to this. He says, few save, don't believe in a photoshopped image, guys, number four. So you have to watch out for Jim Cramer. This guy is like... I 
I don't even know why he even has a TV show, why he's on TV. His predictions are so wrong. It's uh, He gets everything wrong. It's, I think they put him on just for comedic value. That's probably my take on it. But uh, luckily for CZ, uh, Jim Cramer never said that about Binance. And uh, on to some other big macro news as well, guys. Watch out for this because we do have some bri big BRICS news. You know, the BRICS countries are rising slowly in the background. We do have a big photo. You can see Putin with, uh, I think that's the guy from Saudi Arabia right here. And uh, people are predicting this is going to continue to uh, spread. So it's going to grow these BRICS countries, the BRICS alliance as well. And just something to watch out for in the background. So this could definitely challenge, you know, the United States paradigm for the world. It's the US right now, number one, and uh, the Western, so-called Western European allies and Australia and things like that. But, but watch out for the BRICS nations. They are rising quietly in the background. And also we have some ship news here as well. So Shiba Inu, large transactions record over 2000% boost. So there is still lots of interest coming in for SHIB. And it says here, SHIB Inu experienced a noteworthy 2,187% daily increase in transaction volume. The network total volume amounted to 67 million, marking a significant rise from its previous low of 2.94 million. So lots of activity happening within the SHIB Inu ecosystem. And I think that is uh, bullish for that crypto. So you definitely wanna see more and more activity within the Shiba ecosystem and uh, have a look at this as well. So Justin X receives money transmitter license for payment services in Mississippi. So if you guys are not on X, I reckon this crypto, this platform is getting very big. Um, the other thing to watch out for right here, if X does become like a money transmitter globally, as in, you know, it could be a crypto exchange, it could be a stock exchange as well. You gotta watch out for what Elon Musk is building. So he's building like a massive platform. This gets adoption. You have to remember, you know, there's, t there's tons of people over on X that don't have crypto accounts. You know, they're not investing in crypto. But if they do integrate, say, like a crypto exchange, could be a decentralized exchange or a centralized exchange for X, I think that's going to, you know, unlock potentially some more demand in the crypto market. It could potentially rival crypto exchanges like Binance, KuCoin, uh, Coinbase, etc. If Elon Musk does choose to go down that path. So just factor that in if he does, but he is kind of building the foundation in the background. So you can see these money transmitter licenses coming in the background for the USA. And uh, very, very interesting to see what he's building right there. And Michael Saylor says right here, arm yourself with Bitcoin. So very cool tweet coming out of him. And if we check out the crypto prices today, guys, what are they doing on the market? So there has been a bit of movement, nothing crazy, so to speak. So you can see there's some retracements in Ton, RLB, Casper having a nice resurgence, XRD. So is that Radix? Radix is on the rise right there. Uh, so a little bit of a mixed day, nothing crazy happening. Gala, you know, rebounding a little bit in price today. So shout out to Gala right there. And uh, if we check out the crypto, Crypto prices, you can see sideways trading currently for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin right now, unless a specific altcoin is doing something absolutely amazing, you know, there could be some sideways trading uh, to watch out for. And I do have the long-term graph of Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, I don't know why people are freaking out so much because we're not really in the bottom of the low. So, you know, back here, we had $15,000, $16,000 Bitcoin. We're a long way off, uh, you know, $15,000, $16,000 Bitcoin. And I'm excited for these Bitcoin ETFs. So I think that could be a big uh, boost up for the crypto market. And uh, I want to see the macro economy get back online. But you can see right here, it's still going to be a long term journey in crypto. So multiple, multiple years. And I'm not worried. And if you guys aren't worried either, hit the thumbs up button on the video. And if we check out some other crypto prices, what are they doing? A lot of sideways trading today. So Cardano you know, up slightly, Dogecoin up 1.7%, Solana having a nice run. It's up 4.7%. So there's a lot of interest in Solana. It could be a bit of a sleeper in terms of, uh, you know, huge growth potential in the future. So watch out for Solana. SHIB uh, up 3%. So shout out to SHIB right there. And Pepe bouncing back into the top 100. So down slightly, but back in the top 100 and Terra Classic down slightly today. But guys, that is a massive update. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. What are we doing on the channel at the moment? So we're doing some big crypto news, keeping you guys up to date on exactly what is happening in the crypto market currently. And then sometimes we check out new cryptos, things like that. So if you guys enjoy that type of content, you can subscribe, hit the notification bell. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.